Hey guys, sorry Delaney and I have been away recently. It's been really weird with everything happening in the world. It's just kind of been tough to pick up the camera and really make this kind of content. But on the plus side, we have a lot of exciting things in store coming up that we'll want to show with you. Before I get into the video today, I just wanted to continue a conversation that's been going on for months now about Black Lives Matter. Truthfully, I just wanted to take a real quick second and say that this is a human rights issue. Among other things, the color of your skin shouldn't determine how you're treated. And I just wanted to try and continue this conversation because it's really easy for that message to get lost in everything that's happening in the world right now. Read up, talk about it with your friends, with your family, or with strangers. Just have a simple set of discourse. Anyways, I'll see ya in the video. Hey guys, welcome back to CD Indies. I know it's been a long time, but we're finally back. Today, I wanted to show you a new friend that we got about three weeks ago. He lives in this cage. You can actually see him coming out right now. Hey Pixel, his name's Pixel. Ever since I was like in elementary school, whenever we'd go into like the Petco or PetSmart or whatever pet stores, if they had reptiles, I'd always be like, oh, that looks so cool. I want to get one. When we were young, when I was in school, we even like go around the playground and we'd catch little lizards or at least try to. And I actually caught one one time, but uh, my parents encouraged me to release it, which was probably for the best. I did lots of research and really asked myself like is this something that I'd be willing to want for the next 10 or 20 years of my life because these little guys actually live a long time and so we looked on the local Craigslist and found this little guy. He is a juvenile leopard gecko. Very friendly and tame oddly enough. Let's see if he wants to come out. Hey Pixel, you want to come out or do you want a drink of water? I really like his coloring. He's a little dull right now because I think he's getting ready to shed. I think what's really awesome is his eyes. They have like that dragon kind of look to them, which I thought looked really cool. He'll lick your hand and go around. He also really likes to like jump. Not really jump, I should say, but like just kind of fall. You want to jump? You want to go to my hand? Oh yes. <laughs> Every day since I got him, we've been trying to handle him before he eats. He's really comfortable with us right now. Look who it is. It's my own leopard gecko. <laughs> Look who's out now. You wanna come out, buddy? Hop on. Cool. Hey, buddy. You want to go down there? <laughs> go on a ride on. <laughs> Delaney's shoulder. <laughs> I'm just biting. Well, you want to feed this little guy? Feed in time. Do, 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 do. Delaney doing the whole 
prepare any food, I think. I don't want to seem like I'm abusing insects. <laughs> I know, it's an unfortunate circle of life moment. When you have to be shaken in calcium powder to be fed to a gecko named after a big cat. <laughs> Give me the mealworm. The camera is not the mealworm. The mealworm's right there. <laughs> Buddy. so confused. <laughs> you had a lot of tugging power. I feel like I'm feeding him living spaghetti noodles. <laughs> living spaghetti noodles, huh? I mean, that makes sense in a morbid kind of way. It is morbid. This is the gecko's spaghetti. <laughs> you can be a little dumb sometimes. The leopard stalks its prey, and then it waits right on top of its prey to strike. <laughs> All right. That was it, buddy. Feeding time is over. Commenced. He's really clean. He doesn't smell at all. As you can see with the toilet paper in his cage, they actually go to the bathroom in like the same spot, which is pretty awesome. It's like having a little, a little tiny reptile cat. Oh my gosh, dude. I think I'm gonna have to put you back in your cage for now. Perfect. Pretty much everything here came with him, which is really cool. If you are looking into starting out with a little reptile, like you can actually get all that stuff uh, combined used for a pretty reasonable price. I just have like a tiny little mini fridge that I have a container of mealworms in. Thanks, Vanna White. <laughs> when it's feeding time, I have this kind of like gut loading container. I know it is overkill for what mealworms are needed, but I just throw in some vegetables and let the guys heat up and just kind of gorge themselves. <laughs> That's two. What? They're attacking each other. This one's like wounded now. <laughs> Sorry, little mealworm. <laughs> he goes straight for the den. <laughs> that oh, was poor miserable. Little guy. <laughs> poor, poor little mule. <laughs> like a knight to the dragon. I hope you guys had a fun time seeing Pixel. He's been really fun to just have. Apart from meeting Pixel, uh, Delaney and I have a lot of fun stuff lined up. I've been working on our website, which hopefully will go live soon, and we'll have photos and artwork that Delaney and I have made that you can purchase, get prints of. We'll also have our short films on there and some of our client work, and also this channel. On our website, you can watch all of our CD Indies videos. Uh, you will be able to, I should say. So stay tuned. Again, sorry for the long delay. I mean, Everything's just kind of been crazy and it's hard to pick up the camera and sit down and actually do one of these things. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope to see you in the next.